Here are the three most important things you need to know about tumor DNA sequencing. One, it's not possible for you to have no markers. If your doctor is saying they tested you and you don't have any markers, what they're actually telling you is they used a very small panel and you need to take matters into your own hands and get a larger panel. Uh, we like a tumor DNA sequencing panel that looks at 550 genes right now. The other thing that you need to know is that the data that comes out of the machine after your tumor tissue has been tested is not complete. It needs to be properly analyzed. You can't just take a test report and hand it to your doctor and trust that, that everything's going to go well. Because what happens with those test reports is they're just pumping out information about the mutations that were found, not how those mutations affect each other or whether you have any desensitizing mutations that might affect the ability of that treatment to work. And those test reports also don't look at things called variants of unknown significance. They actually are very significant and they can be analyzed and they can often get in the way of your treatment working. The other thing, the third thing that you need to understand is that without those first two things, your doctor cannot prescribe you the best possible treatment. They can only prescribe you what their standard of care diagnostics tell them to. So you've got to take matters into your own hands get very thorough tumor DNA testing, make sure that it has been properly analyzed, and then your doctor will have a lot of excellent data and you will then be able to access some of the most current and most beneficial targeted therapies.